Hey, what's up everybody? You're here for another video from Scrappy Wood. I'm Lee, and Kel is over there somewhere. But, this on this channel, we make all sorts of crap from scrap. <laughs> well, it's a little bit nicer than crap. I shouldn't call it crap. But, you're here to watch uh, us build a little something something. We're not too sure what we're gonna make yet, but hopefully it turns out Stick around, be sure to subscribe, like if you like the video, and let's go see what we can find. Okay, so we have all sorts of stuff in here from like wedding, uh, from remodels uh, that I've done with my brother, and we got stuff from wedding here. So we're not really sure. We have some suitcases and like some old chairs uh, that we have from like parents and whatnot. So we're just really trying to figure out what we want to do. Uh, we're starting to think uh, about maybe like a big crib. Mm -hmm. Baby on the way. Or bassinet. Yeah, bassinet. Uh, so we have some suitcases around here. Uh, but we just gotta find them. Did you start it? Yeah. <laughs> what are you finding? I don't know. This is kind of fun. We're digging through our own stuff. <laughs> Look at this thing. Cooler. So this was here when we bought this house. It's pretty sweet. It's old, old style. But you can make something out of this, or you could just use it for a cooler, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Still, it's still got sand in there. From, still got sand in there from so long. <laughs> what about this thing? Nasty suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty, grungy there. Kind of small. Well, we could clean it up pretty good. That's true. Ooh, yeah, that's a little too small, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Maybe a future project or something. Yes. What's up there in the upstairs attic? What? Any treasures for us? Up there? Yeah. Should we check? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay. Do you guys want to see the suitcase? Let me just go up yonder and show you. Oh, I see it. That beaut. <laughs> oh boy, nice beautiful rust orange color. What'd you say? And that's my favorite color these days. <laughs> than that and then we put the legs on it to stand up like a bassinet four legs or two legs however with wood and then we if you can make make it taller put some wood around it and then after that it's just like 
fine details like getting a pad. <laughs> and then there's like there's like a grime on this. <laughs> and then you can see it. Cool fabric that like goes over it. <laughs> Look at there's like nasty I stains right here. This part's trash. Yeah. Yeah, well we'll be so we'll be and getting getting rid of, of that. We'll be getting rid of that top piece. And probably all the in inside, right? Mm -hmm. Just gonna Basically, it's just gonna be the bottom and then this outside. Okay. Probably. Make it taller and make it look nice. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I like it. So for starters, first step, rip this off. All right, let's get to it. You guys, there's some sort of name on here. Let's see what it says. Lady, Lady Baltimore. Huh. I hope it's not some super expensive brand or something that we're about to destroy that would suck if you guys know lady baltimore if it's a good brand let us know or maybe don't because we're about to tear it a new butthole <laughs> uh. this rips nicely let's take all this oh yeah look at that Rip it. That's meant to be off. That came off way too easy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. What? Do some money, eBay. So our bassinet is already $43. If anyone's wanting to buy it. <laughs> huh. Go. Ooh, in there. <laughs> so strong. You're so strong? You're just gonna rip it off. Yeah, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. Go! Oh. You gotta get your foot into it too. <laughs> in the in the position. <laughs> hey! Come on, God! I don't think we want to do this. We're, I don't think we want to do this. We might rip our fabric on the outside. So let's let's get some tools. No more, no more of this. Uh, use a little leverage. Because <laughs> my name's Lee. You guys know. Use a little leverage. Nah, Le leverage. funny guy. First attempt. <laughs> Actually, we already had first attempt. Second attempt. <laughs> now with some tools. <laughs> <laughs> nope. It's smarter than us. Second attempt, a wood chisel. If all else fails, use a wood chisel. <laughs> oh, I hear something. Oh, it doesn't sound good though. Oh, no. That's a rough ride. <laughs> it says take four. Yeah, take four. <laughs> There. So upon further investigation, <laughs> we did some damage here, but we noticed there are like these little flanges right here on the inside. So we're gonna take our trusty dusty pink pliers <laughs> and maybe they'll just pop off easier. Oh, you can see it now. There's two. One, two. They kind of wrap out like this. Whoop. And a wrap out like this. Whoop. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Thoughts? Were you well suited for that? Was I well suited for that? <laughs> <laughs> Lemon fresh. <laughs> Lemony fresh. So we have this top piece, you guys, and I had a epiphany or an idea. What if we made uh, a chair out of this guy? Let me know what you guys think. If you like that idea, give us a like or just shout it out in the comments. Let us know. Supervising. Ooh, dirty. Next up, 
We have this for that, and then that for this, and and yeah. Are you rolling? Yep. Right now? Set. Action. Uh, yeah, there's the stuff. So, you guys missed the boring part. We went up into the garage and did a lot of cutting and, cutting and whatnot. But, there's what you saw before. Now, we cut out a three-quarter chunk of plywood to fit nice and easy in there. To give it a little, little hoof, little strength, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, we got our legs and bracing to joint uh, those legs together and that's all we got so far. Stay tuned for more action This right here is what you call a man -kita. Normally you have a clamp for this, but that's out in the garage and I'm being a little lazy, so I'm just gonna use my hand it's all right. Those nuts are messing with me. Nuts? Why am I saying nuts? Nuts. <laughs> I'm a professional. Sturdy and up. Bottom half. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you wanna take this off, hon? Thank you. Ooh. So we got this whole fixture set up, but it's looking a little a little meager. It's a little sad. I mean it's kinda it's kinda stout, but we need a little something something. So our thought is we can either sturdy up the bottom, add some chunks to the bottom, but why not get some use out of it, the sturdying up, and put some shelves on it. So we're gonna for storage. Yeah, for storage. So we're gonna put uh, two shelves on it, one lower down, one in boat yay, boat yay high. You know, yay is uh, a term to figure out whereabouts it should be. About yay. <laughs> Not nay. Not nay. Yay. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the the next step in the process of making these. Making it fun and stuff. Mm -hmm. To finish up the sturdiness, we're gonna add those shelves. Let us see. Oh, it's tight. And now I... Uh-oh. Hammer time? Hammer time? Did I hear hammer? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. They missed it. Oh, You're about to say ham blamsky time. I am good, or am I good? You're pretty darn good. <laughs> okay. Well, these guys don't know that. Just watch and see. <laughs> Guys, nice. that thing be looking good. Using my trusty eye to, to visualize the screw going all the way. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't measure, so hopefully this works. <laughs> All right, the woodworking's done, and time for the lady improvements. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where Kel gets real excited. Yep, cozy touches. The cozy touches. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> and like a puzzle. Oh, it just stands straight up. Pit. In our foam pit, our future foam pit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gosh. Imagine how many of those we're gonna buy. Guys, if you find a wife <laughs> that wants to have a foam pit in your house, keep Sign her. her up. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks real cozy up in there. Pretty cool. They're pretty pine. <laughs> like fine? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Why don't we pull it out a bit? We're in business. Operating surgery. We are operation. Took a couple trial and errors, but neither of us are sewing majors, so. <laughs> <laughs> or surgeons. Or surgeons. <laughs> but we think we got a good style going on here. It, it tucks underneath and then wraps over the top. Makes it like a nice basket look. Yeah, buddy. There it is. So all we did, this is actually a wire, a wire tire for rebar and concrete. <laughs> uh, put a little hook on it, and I'm just poking it through the fabric and then running it through the hole. And then I got our uh, fox leather pulling right through. So Kel is pushing a wood knitting tool through first. There it is. She's pushing the wood knitting tool through first and then we're following it through with this wire. That might not be enough. <gasps> no! What? That's not supposed to happen. 
How did that happen? That's not that strong, I guess. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so that was our video on how to make an old suitcase into a bassinet baby changer table. Yeah. Either one, both of them probably. Do you think it'll be comfortable for a baby on the way? Yes. Are you excited at that? Like it. Yes. You're excited we have that for baby on the way? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like that video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know how, what you think about it in the comments maybe. Subscribe please so we can do more videos just like this. We got more baby projects coming your way. Yep, more baby projects because we got a little one. And why buy it? Coming a long way. Yeah, why buy it? Exactly. Why buy it when you can make it? <laughs> Alright, see you guys. <laughs> We're done. Yep, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what we got. Oh no! <laughs> Lady Baltimore. We forgot to do. <laughs> we forgot to do that part. <laughs> well, it still looks good. Besides that. <laughs> <laughs> we have 